Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person. What are they thinking, feeling at this time? And what are their intentions towards you for the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching and not every Sagittarius reading on my channel will resonate for you. Um, check out the Sagittarius playlist in the description box if this doesn't resonate much for you. I have a lot of other readings for your sign. So let's jump right in. For Sagittarius, Spirit Angels, Guides, Messages, Peace, Guidance. For Sagittarius, regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, what do they need to know? What are this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Sagittarius? The person that's Sagittarius. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So right away, I feel like this person is willing to put in serious effort into achieving some sort of success that they have in mind. It's at the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. Oh, yeah. Um, initiative starts someone that is um, motivated. What else we need to know about this person's energy? You could be dealing with an earth sign. What do we need to okay far apart? She kind of showed up. What do we need to know about this person's energy at this time? Divine timing. Trust and divine timing. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies at this time? Past life. Okay, so when I say past life and divine timing, I think of definitely a faded union or reunion of some sort. I believe this is someone that you already know, Sagittarius. Um, maybe things are happening in divine timing between you and a person from your past or a past life relationship that's coming back together here. What else do you need to know about this person's energy? Coffin. So this is about an ending of some sort. So there could have already been an ending between you and this person, or this person ha is having some sort of ending or change in their life, um, and it's bringing them to you. Let's see. Tell us about this King of Pentacles spirit. What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? What do we need to know? Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. What do we need to know? Page of Swords. Tell us about this Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords? death Scorpio energy and there's the ace of cups I feel like this person wants to tell you about this ending or change that's happening in their life or they want to talk about the ending between you and this person could be dealing with a Scorpio as well but I feel like this is just somebody that wants to this could also be somebody that's keeping tabs on you after an ending as well but when I clarify this page of swords I wanted to know what would the message be, right? It looks like it has something to do with, with this ending that has already shown up there. Okay. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's still love here. Love is on this person's mind. What do we need to know about the Six of Wands? What do we need to know, Spirit, about the Six of Wands? What do we need to know? This one. Eight of Cups. Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of, uh, the Eight of Cups is all about walking away. 
Why is the Six of Wands here? Ten of Wands. And then the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I think this person walked away from some sort of long-term burden or obligation. Yeah, and they're very motivated. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Very motivated to take action here. Very active energy. Similar to that Page of Wands that showed up at the bottom of the deck. Can we get one more for the Six of Wands? Why is the Six of Wands here? Wow, the Empress. Growth, abundance, divine feminine energy. There's a Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is returning. I'm also, I got the word finding, I heard it. It's like they're finding their empress. So this does not necessarily have to be an ex. This could also be a past life connection that's looking for this empress and it happens to be you, Sagittarius. You are the missing piece. But they had to go through something else in their life for this to happen. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. That was my dog in the background. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Wow, the magician. Yeah, this person's making this happen, putting an effort into taking some sort of action here, manifesting. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. One more, please. The devil, Capricorn energy, and the hangman. So I feel like this person is... I'm getting the word planning, but I don't think that's the word. invested this is someone very invested in what's what they want to achieve now the hangman and the devil to me um these two energies combined are like someone stuck realizing why they're stuck realizing you know why they are where they're they are at etc 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 three of cups behind that so there could be another um person or, and that's why they're stuck, or um, this stuck energy was preventing a reunion of some sort. Let's see, let's clarify this stuff. Tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil here? The star. Oh my God, look at all this major arcana. Aquarius energy, healing faith, renewal, and there's the tower. Yeah, okay, so I feel like this person, there has been, I do feel there's a separation between you and this person, but I don't think it's necessarily a breakup. I, I also get the sense that this person um, is going through a tower or has already gone through a tower. I feel they're walking away from something right now or will be in the near future. Um, and for some reason, this is something they've been working at. There's the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is something they've been putting in effort, time, energy um, into making this happen. So let's get some insight into what they're thinking here. What is this person thinking or feeling, Spirit, when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection? What are they thinking, feeling? What do we need to know? what they're thinking feeling i wasn't honest with you and i wasn't ready okay okay i feel like this person could have also been um lying to themselves like they weren't ready to face the truth of their situation What else do we need to know about this person? What else? I am becoming a better person. 
and bottom of the deck, you were the best thing in my life. Okay, so you probably do have history with this person if that's the case. Others of you, I'm still picking up that you weren't really like together. Like it wasn't a commitment and this separation was not like an official breakup. And then there's still that other group of you that I feel like this person's coming back into your life. Maybe in your past lives, this person was not ready to commit or um, had to learn some lessons because they obviously made mistakes in their past life. So what are their intentions towards Aquarius? Um, I was going to say Aquarius. <laughs> towards Sagittarius. What are their intentions? Towards Sagittarius spirit, this person that Sagittarius is thinking about connecting with. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? One more. Okay. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius for the near future spirit? Wow, the Knight of Cups. Some sort of offer. An expression of how they feel could even be an apology eight of wands again yeah there's some sort of communication coming in here what else the nine of pentacles the higher font again but well, when i see the nine of pentacles with the higher font i think of someone independent free of an attachment or a commitment i think this person I, I, I'm getting confession from this card. Like, there's a confession here. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Yeah, Two of Cups. Yeah, there's like a very strong attachment, a very special connection here. The Two of Cups has shown up twice. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Empress, yep. They're gonna make an offer to their Empress. Yep, Ace of Wands. Let's have a new beginning. And there's the High Priestess. Let's have a new beginning, a new start. Um, I love you, I care about you, I'm sorry. Or you meet this person and it's like, you're it. You're what I've been looking for. I don't want to keep looking. You're exactly what I've been searching for. Tell me about this ace. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Five of wands. Why is the eight of wands here? Four of pentacles. There's the higher font again. The chariot, cancer energy at the bottom of the deck there and death behind that. So once again, I feel like this person has left a commitment or left some sort of obligation, left some sort of situation where they were perhaps stuck. Could be a job, a place, a commitment, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think this person fought their way out. That's kind of what I'm getting here with the Five of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. It's almost like this person really had to go through difficulties. I think they want to tell you about this. I also get the sense that some of you, like I'm picturing a horse, like um, leaving a gate, like through, like in a horse race. Um, so I feel like this person, once they have their out or once they're out of whatever it is that they're leaving they're coming in hot like they're leaving quickly and coming straight to you or it's almost like yes i'm free i can do this 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 this, this and this now because the eight of wands and the chariot very quick moving cards very quick action tell me about the nine of pentacles why is the Nine of Pentacles here? It's almost like I'm free. Now I can do what I want. Yeah, Queen of Wands, exactly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now I can take the action. I can achieve my goals. Nine of Pentacles. 
the moon, Pisces energy. Hmm. Why is the Nine of Pentacles? Can you one more thing? The sun. Okay, yeah. So I feel like interesting. There's the Seven of Swords. Well, with the Seven of Swords with the Sun, I think of something is like found out, out in the open. Someone's seen doing something they shouldn't be doing, or maybe this is them being very strategic about getting what they want because of these other cards that I see here. But the moon is here. Page of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, so there might be communication about what has happened but you're maybe not getting all of the facts so be careful about that because this person might talk to you about this ending ten of swords page of swords here but with the seven of swords and the moon you know it's not very clear there's more to this than you might expect it could also be that this person's revealing something to you um, like maybe you were in the dark about something and then now they're like clarifying things, clearing things up here with the sun. Just be wary about that, that, you know, maybe they didn't tell you everything in the past because I wasn't honest with you as here. Maybe they weren't honest with you in the past about something 100%. Or, you know, if they do talk to you about an ending, maybe they left out some details. But I think... There is no more hiding the truth here with the sun um, and the page of swords. So the truth will come out whether it was about the past or it's about something now. Just keep that in mind. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.